guys, this is Erica the Goober, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to find your art style. Every artist wants to have their own unique style. It's how we stand out as individuals among other artists. When you're first starting out, you might get frustrated because you think you don't have an art style. The fact is you do have an art style, even if you can't quite see it yet. Each artist's style is unique because style is made up of three things. Our personal tastes, so basically what we find appealing, our influences, so artists you're inspired by, and our experiences, by which I mean our life experiences and what we've spent time practicing while we're drawing. Not a single person on this earth has lived the exact same life as you and therefore cannot have the exact same art style as you. Okay, Erica, that's great. I have an art style. What if I don't like my art style? I have good news for you. Art style is not something you find, like the title of this video may suggest, but it's something you develop. There won't be some magical day where you are bestowed the style that perfectly represents you as an artist. It's something you'll have to work towards throughout your artistic journey. There are certain things that we all do that have become habitual in our drawing process. Your habits you've developed in drawing are what define your art style. The best way to develop your art style is to intentionally develop habits that practice what you want the defining qualities of your style to be. We're gonna take a look at some practical things that you can do to help you develop habits that will shape your art style. Step one, observe your current art style. It's important to know where you are in order to get to where you want to be. Start by observing your art and describe it objectively as if you were an outside observer. Try not to think in terms of like or dislike or positive and negative emotion. Just simply state what you see. What do you notice? Do you tend to consistently draw a certain thing a certain way? Do you draw things more realistically or more cartoony? Or do you use thin lines or thick lines? Make sure you are writing down what you observe. Or if you're a member of my strawberry milkshake tier on Patreon, you can work on filling out your how to find your art style guided worksheet packet. Just as an example, scrolling through some of the most recent art on my Instagram, this is what I see. So I see lots of girl characters and some dogs. Um, a lot of my noses are pretty round and like button shaped, so they all look pretty similar. Lots of soft colors, nothing too vibrant, but still colorful. And um, say everything is very cutesy and I do mostly sketchy lines, but with uh, some soft shading still, so yeah. That's what I notice when I look at my art objectively. See how I didn't say this is good, this is bad. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing that kind of defines what my art style is. By objectively observing your art, you'll learn more about your personal tastes and start to recognize patterns in your work. Step two, know your art influences. Next, simply make a list of artists you like. From that list, narrow it down to at least three to five artists who do things in their work that you would like to try in your own work. For each artist you choose, write a small list of characteristics that makes their art stand out to you. Be sure to be specific. So here are some of my art influences and some characteristics that draw me to their art. For example, looking at Amanda Jolly's work, I can say that what draws me to her art is the expressiveness in her characters, the way she uses shape and design, and just how lively her lines are. After doing this for each artist I listed, I can start to see a pattern. In most of the characteristics I listed, I listed shape as something I'm drawn to in other artists' work. Looking back at what I observed about my own work, shape was not something that stood out to me. This tells me that if I want to develop my style into something more along the lines of what I want to see, that means I need to practice my shape language. Step three, art style studies. I recently finished reading Art and Fear by David Bales and Ted Orland, which I highly recommend, especially if you are struggling in your creative process right now. A quote that stood out to me was, what you did got you here, and if you apply the same methods again, you will likely get the same result again. 
you can't expect to develop your art style if you keep drawing the same way you normally do. The best way to push your art style in a new direction is to experiment. A great way to try working differently is to do an art style study. Start by picking an artist on your list and identify the main thing you want to focus on while studying their art. Then I suggest following these steps. Learn about their process. When I say learn about their process, I mean take in all the information you can about this artist. Watch interviews, speed paintings, live streams, etc. to try to gain an understanding of how they work. This will help you learn about the software or the supplies they use or maybe even their brushes. Additionally, you can learn about their influences and how they got to where they are now. Break down their art. So I did mention this a little bit in my how to improve your art video, but I will mention it again here because it's very important. When you break down another artist's work, you are loosely drawing over top of their work to gain an understanding of how they created their lines. Physically doing this will help your hand understand better. Remember, we're not tracing over the drawings line for line because that won't help us the same way that loosely sketching over the drawing will. Master studies. So a master study is basically when you try to recreate another artist's work. By actually going through the drawing process, you will learn some techniques that you didn't know by just looking at the drawing. Make sure you're taking notes during this process, like which brushes did you use or which layer blending modes did you use? That way in the future, if you want to try that same technique again, you'll know the brushes you used, etc. When you're finished, look at your work versus the work of the original artist. Make sure you're observing objectively and not in terms of good or bad. Then reflect on how things went. What did you capture successfully? What would you do next time if you tried this again? What did you learn from the process? Answering questions like these and reflecting on how you created the piece will help you better understand the techniques you learned. Create something new in their style. A good way to do this is to take one of your original character designs and recreate it in another artist's style using what you learned from the master study. In fact, this is exactly what we'll be doing in our Patreon Discord challenge this month, an art style study challenge, but more on that at the end of the video. Reflection. To wrap up your art style study, you should do one last reflection to think about what you've learned. What did you enjoy about trying this artist's process and what did you not enjoy? Are there any techniques that you would like to try to integrate into your own style? While doing these studies, there are a few things you should keep in mind. Studying other artists' work is not a shortcut for learning the basic art fundamentals. While doing an art style study, you might find that your skills aren't quite where they need to be yet to achieve that style. That's when you need to take note of what you're struggling with so you can practice that. If you're looking to improve your art, I do have six tips that will help you in my how to improve your art video. If you do an art style study, do not post the master study on social media. I know it can be really tempting because you put a lot of time and effort into it and you think it looks good, but it's not yours to post as your own and it should be used solely for learning purposes. If you decide to post your character that you redrew in another artist's style, make sure you credit and tag them in the post and direct your followers to go check out their work as well. It's respectful to the artist and personally, as an artist myself, I enjoy seeing other people's take on my style. And lastly, do not copy every aspect of a single artist's work and call it your own style. People will notice and they will call you out. It's important to be influenced by several artists and not just one. It's also important to keep in mind what we talked about earlier. Your unique perspective is an important part of what defines your art style. Don't lose yourself in the process of learning from others. You're trying to develop your own unique voice, not echo somebody else's. Remember that the main goal of this exercise is to use the information you learn from studying other artists' styles and let that inform what you want to experiment with. Step five, your art style roadmap. After experimenting with different styles, come back to what you wrote down about your 
current art style? What do you want to be different? How will you work towards that change? What will you practice? After determining this, take small steps to shape your art style. I suggest thinking of something you want to draw and then focus on practicing one thing that will help you get to your desired art style. Remember, art is about the journey and not the destination. Your art style will always be changing with you as you have new experiences and discover new interests and influences. If you found these tips helpful this month on Patreon, we'll also be focusing on art style. We'll be experimenting with different art styles together in this month's art style challenge on Discord. You can also download the seven page how to find your art style guided worksheet packet that's designed to guide you through the process of developing your art style when you join the strawberry milkshake tier. You can join the Patreon community for just $1 and unlock exclusive content by clicking the link in the description. Speaking of Patreon, I do have quite a few shout outs for some new and upgrading top supporters. These include Ms. Art Love, Bree Price Artistry, Kuniko Creates, Rachel N. Art, The Friends Sister, Queen Villain 29, Tara, Pink Sugar Ichigo Art, Letter Chill, Mary Creative Light, Erica Joy Illustration, Leah Sketch, Hellish Heathen 97, Revodu, Deirdre, Selena, Payak, Mohammed, Just Arting, Eliz Marie, Soli Doodles, S and M Creative Art, K Heart Zero, Emily, Lonely Siren, Bailey, and Raquel. Thank you guys so much for supporting my art and allowing me to make videos like these. I post new rewards to Patreon every month, and when you join, you can check out all of the posts that you may have missed. To see a full list of rewards, check out the Patreon link in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click that bell to get notified of all my future art videos. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye!